Hi, welcome to another video in my series on solving linear equations, where we're now looking at fractional types. And in this video, what I'm going to show you is how we go about solving fractional equations where we've got one term that contains the fraction, and in our equation, we've got more than two terms. In this one, we've got three terms, the first term, second term, and the third term. This one, we've got four terms, one, two, three, four, and so on. So how do we go about solving these kind of equations? Well, what we need to do is get rid of the fraction. So in this example, we've got to get rid of that five. And to get rid of the five, what we need to do is multiply throughout by five. Now, on the left-hand side here, we've got two terms. It's as if we've got this in brackets. Let's just put brackets around that. Not that I'm suggesting that we do that, but we've got to think of this as five times the two terms on the left-hand side. So if we do that, it's going to be five times the first term. We'll just do this in red. Five then multiplied by the 3x over 5. And then we've got minus 5 times the next term, the 2x. So 5 times the 2x. And then this is going to equal 5 times the right-hand side. And on the right-hand side, we've just got the 4. OK, so we're doing the same thing to both sides, multiplying both sides by 5. The result is that when it comes to this term, these two 5s cancel one another out. So if we multiply this out, we've now therefore got 1 times 3x over 1, which is 3x minus 5 times 2x, which is minus 10x, and then this equals 5 times 4, which is 20. So 3x minus 10x is going to be minus 7x, and that equals 20. And what we need to do now is just divide both sides by minus 7. So that's going to give me x equals 20 divided by minus 7. And this is going to be a negative number overall. Plus divided by a minus is negative overall. And then we've got 20 sevenths. Minus 20 sevenths, you could leave it like that. Or you could change it to x equals minus. And then you could say sevens into 20 goes twice, two whole times. And you've got six left over, six sevenths. So minus two and six sevenths. Now, in the next example, number two, we've got four terms. One of them then is a fraction. It contains the four. So we've got to remove the four from here. And if I do that, I've got to think of this side as bracketed. And then I'm going to multiply both of these terms by four. So therefore, what we're going to have is four multiply by the first term, 5x. After a while, you most probably won't want to do it in as much detail as what I'm doing now, but just go straight to the answer, because we've now got minus 4 times the 3 quarters. And on the right-hand side here, again, we've got two terms, so we've got to multiply each of these two terms with the 4. So you've got 4 times x plus, and here, 4 multiply by the 2. And in the usual way, when it comes to this fraction, because we multiply by 4, those two 4s cancel one another out. And that leaves us now with, therefore, we've got 4 times 5x, which is 20x. Then minus 1 times 3 is minus 3, equals 4 times x is 4x, and 4 times 2 is 8. Now, if we take 4x from both sides, we've got 20x take away 4x leaves me with 16x. And then we've got the minus 3 equals, and if we take 4x from this side, we're just left with 8. Now I'm going to add 3 to both sides. So we're left with 16x. And if we add 3 to the other side, 8 plus 3 is 11. 
Now divide both sides by 16 and you end up with x equals 11 divided by 16. 11 sixteenths then. Now my last example, what I've got now is three terms. One of them contains a fraction and that fraction is the 2x. So at this stage you might in fact want to have a go even at doing this one. So I'll just give you a moment to pause the video, come back when ready and as usual you can check your work solution with mine. Okay so let's see how you got on if you uh, did try this. So we need to remove the 2x so we now need to multiply both sides by 2x. So we've got two terms here on the left hand side so it's going to be 2x multiplied by each of them. 2x times the 5 then 2x multiplied by the 3 over 2x so 3 over 2x and this equals 2x multiplied by the 4. So you should be able to just squeeze that in there. Hope you can see that. Okay so what happens next is that this 2x cancels with this 2x so we get rid of the fraction. So cleaning this up we therefore have 2x times 5 which is 10x and then we've got minus 1 times 3 which is minus 3 equals 2x times 4 which is 8x. Now if I subtract 8x from both sides I get 10x take away 8x which is 2x and I'm left with that minus 3 equals and 8x take away 8x on the right hand side is 0. Now I just need to add 3 to both sides so we end up with 2x equals 0 add 3 which is 3 and then divide both sides by 2 so 2x over 2 is just 1x or x and then you've got 3 divided by 2. 3 halves which you could leave like that or you could turn it to a mixed fraction and so therefore x would be equal to 1 and a half. Okay so I hope that's given you an idea then on how to do these types of questions and in my next video in this series we'll be looking at fractional equations where we now have not just one term which is a fraction but we're looking at two or more terms of fractions.